In our previous tutorial videos, we've talked about several common ways of composition. In addition to directly applying these composition formulas, there are a few things to pay attention to in the arrangement of scenes, so that you can adjust different details in a more specific way. In this video, Blue Lake Shot will provide three key points to pay attention to in composition. No matter what kind of composition you use for your photos, please pay more attention to this part to enhance the overall harmony. Let's take a look. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on your little bell to get more information on the latest mobile photography for free. Before taking photos, firstly determine the food and its look, the overall style and tone, the props and colors that match, etc. After establishing this part, the next step is to put the subject and the props into the picture. Of course, you can just pick a composition that you prefer and place it accordingly. For example, for this shoot, we choose to use an off-center composition. As the name implies, our hero is not placed in the center of the picture, but slightly placed towards a corner of the picture. After the positioning, then put the props and other accompanying objects into the picture in order. If you directly apply the formula, without any adjustment, we take a photo and check it first. Even if it doesn't look too problematic, at the basis of this, we then make advanced adjustment. The first adjustment point is The current photo is obviously an eccentric composition, but if you carefully feel the appearance of the photo, you will find that the photo is a bit tilted to the left, like a table on the weight of all the items are distributed on the left side, which may fall to the left at any time. If you feel that it's too abstract for you, we directly use the physical data to measure provided that each object in the picture has a certain proportion of weight. The larger the volume, the higher the value we will give it, and vice versa. When the value is marked, it's obvious that the total value of the left side is much higher than that of the right side, so you can better understand why when you look at the photo, your eyes will be strongly drawn to the left. Similarly, if the subject is placed in the upper part of the picture, the vision will be automatically drawn upward resulting in the top-heavy situation. Therefore, in order to make the whole picture tend to be balanced, we can readjust the object so that the right side of the accompanying object are increased. Of course, the visual weight of the placed object cannot be fully balanced with the main subject. After all, we are using an eccentric composition. In this way, it's reasonable that the area where the main subject is located should be relatively visually heavier. After the gravity center of the whole picture is established, the next part is the details, so the focus of the second composition is... All the scenes are built or props are used to highlight the main subject, so pay special attention to whether the object you put on the screen are playing the right visual guidance function. We will just identify the location of each object, and then comes the direction in which each object is placed. Basically, food photos will be taken with tableware. If we draw an arrow on each tableware, similarly, we can do the same with other props. Undoubtedly, when marked with arrows, you can see the overall visual train more clearly. By following this rule, you can better allocate the placement of props. Of course, in addition to placement and direction, We've also talked about the three key points of the props arrangement in the past tutorial video. If you haven't seen it, you can go back and review it. So far, we are using flat leg shooting, which is usually recommended for novice photographers to practice at first. This is not only because there is only one shooting surface, so the picture arrangement can be more focused on it. But more importantly, the flat leg shooting is a good opportunity to practice composition. However, we will not always use only flat leg shooting. So, if you want to shoot from other angles, there are also aspects to pay attention to in the composition. That is, if we change the angle of framing to a 45 degree angle to shoot, there will be two shooting surfaces. We will try to place larger objects in the rear view to avoid blocking the main subject. And according to the logic of the visual weight we mentioned above, even if it can be placed backward to slightly reduce the visual weight of the rear view by the feature of the fact that the near, the larger, and vice versa, it will still affect the overall attention to the main subject. Therefore, 
A better way is to book it out the background to more obviously weaken the background area to achieve the effect of highlighting the main subject. If you haven't seen the previous videos, you can go back and review the three techniques of background bokeh. The above are the key points you need to notice when composing a picture. After learning them, you can use them flexibly, so you don't have to rigidly apply the existing composition method every time. Phone photography at home. Have you learned it? If you have any questions about taking pictures or arranging props, please leave us a message and we will make it into a tutorial video to reply. It's not hard to take pictures, just try it.